Hi there. We are about to talk about operating. Ooh, we're going to be doctors operating on radical expressions. Sometimes that's kind of difficult. So you want to pay attention. Here we go. We are going to simplify. That's the word that's used. Simplify the square root of 40. The goal when you simplify a radical expression is to find the perfect squares in the expression. Well, here we have a number 40. And 40 breaks down into 4 times 10. It breaks down into a number of different factors, but this is the only set of factors that allows us to have a perfect square, the largest possible perfect square. So the square root of 40 is the square root of 4 times 10, which is the square root of 4 times the square root of 10. And we know that the principal square root of 4 is 2. So our answer is 2 times the square root of 10. This way we have broken down this radical into what absolutely needs to be under the square root radical and what does not need to be there. All right, the square root of 75, much the same. You can make your list of um, uh, factors of 75 and you'll discover that the way you're going to get the largest possible perfect square is 25 times 3. So we take the square root of 25, we take the square root of 3, the square root of 25 is 5, and so our answer is 5 times the square root of 3. This is called simplifying. Now here, we could just, let's see, 6 times 15, I think that's 90. Yes, it is. We could just say, OK, well, this is the square root of 90. And that would have been easier, actually, because then we could break it down into the square root of 9 times the square root of 10. And the square root of 9 is 3. 10 is 2 times 5, so it's not a perfect square. 3 times the square root of 10. But I went about it doing it this way, which is uh, longer than it needs to be, but it got me there. So you don't have to do this simplifying just the way I ask you to do it. You can sometimes find your own way. It might be longer, might be shorter. But the idea is to get that radical expression broken down. And right now we're just working on square roots. All right, here we're dividing. We're, we're dividing a square root by a square root. So if it's convenient, we can combine this into one square root. Instead of the square root of 250 over the square root of 10, we'll have the square root of 250 over 10 which is the square root of 25, which is 5. Notice you don't say radical 5, you just say 5. The square root of 25 is 5. Now here we have a square root over a square root, so we turn it into one square root. 21a over 3a. Well, the A's cancel, and 3 goes into 21 seven times. The square root of 7 is not a perfect square, but you're not going to get one out of 21 over 3. 
this is the best you're going to do. The exact answer is the square root of seven. Do not get an approximation in a calculator because that's all you'll get. All right, now let's check this out. Here we have the square root of one big square root, 36 y to the fifth over x to the 10th. Notice that y and x are two different bases, so we cannot combine them. What we do need to do is be able to take square roots. So, since when I take the square root of a variable, the square root of x to the fourth, and remember you have an invisible two index, this will be x to the four over two, and four divided by two is two, so that would be x squared. x to the fifth on the other hand, y to the fifth rather. Well, I said x, but I could have said y. y to the fifth, the square root of y to the fifth equals y to the five over two. Now, what the heck am I gonna do with that? No, that's why I broke down y to the fifth into y to the fourth times y to the one. Because when you multiply like bases, you add the exponents. So y to the fourth times y to the one is y to the four plus one, which is y to the fifth. But now I can separate this one big square root into a square root on top and a square root on the bottom of the fraction. I'll have the square root of 36 times the square root of four times the square root of one. The square root of 36 is six. The square root of y to the fourth is y to the four over two, which is y to the two. And the square root of y will not give you a perfect square. Why not? Because this is y to the one. So if you were to break that down, that would be y to the one half. That's just the square root of y. x to the, uh, the square root of x to the 10 is going to be x to the 10 over two. And you know that 10 divided by two is five. So here's our answer. Six times y squared times the square root of y over x to the fifth. And let me move this two closer to the y. Oh, okay. Never mind. And so we have in very quick order, simplified and divided and even multiplied. Where was the multiplication right here? Um, radical expressions. You see it's not hard. This is a little hard, so it takes practice, but the rest of it is pretty doggone simple. Enjoy your homework. Bye-bye.